Serious, what are some of the biggest mistakes people can make in their 20s? Living a lifestyle you can't afford. Along with this. Not saving money. Emergency fund. Retirement. Etc. Even just a little bit is better than nothing. Saving big chunks like tax returns instead of treating yourself is hella smart. Just f king coast through life waiting for something to happen. Nobody is gonna walk up to you and hand you a meaning to your life or a fulfilling career. Not getting a routine of a healthy lifestyle. When older people say it gets a lot harder when you're older. They mean it. But. You can always start treating your body better at any age. Don't throw in the towel because you're older. Don't make excuses. Make goals. Having children by the wrong person. Having children at all before you're ready emotionally, mentally and financially. For the majority of my friends in high school it was trying heroin after experimenting with pills. Since then 6 have died and the rest are either struggling with their addiction or have completely ruined their lives. Edit. This is Central Eastern Kentucky. Get a DUI we Coasting on their potential. It's easy to put off actually doing anything while you're still basking in the glory of being the smart kid at school or university. But then all of a sudden you're 29 and there are celebrities younger than you and you find yourself wondering where to even get started. If you want something. The time to start working towards it is while you're young and hungry. <laughs> Falling out of the habit of exercising regularly. It's such an easier habit to maintain than it is to adopt in one's 30s. Edit. This comment isn't about weight loss. It's about exercise. You can all stop talking about limiting calories. I've literally been there and done that. Looking thin is not the only component to having a healthy body. <laughs> Don't think that there is plenty of time to save for retirement. If it is possible for you to put something away on a regular basis. Do it. The best time to start is when you get a job that offers you more pay than what you were getting. Take a percentage of the increase and start savings that right from the beginning. That helps make it such that you never miss it. <laughs> Not taking advantage of your greatest asset. Time. When I was talking with an older friend who was very well off. Millionaire. I jokingly said. I'll trade you my age for your money. And his reply has always stuck with me. He said. I can do more with your time than you can do with my money. I didn't take it as an insult but as motivation to make the most of my time and not waste it. <laughs> not taking advantage of the freedoms you have now. Most people in their 20s aren't married or have kids. Enjoy it. Travel. Volunteer. Figure out who you are and what kind of person you want to be as you finish growing up. Don't saddle yourself down with a ton of responsibilities now because you will never be this young. This free. This full of energy. And have this many opportunities to grab life by the balls and enjoy yourself again. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Your habits now will follow you for a long time. I'm 27 and starting to realize this so I'm trying to turn things around. Less drinking. More salads. Less carbs. ETC. Also don't waste money on stupid shit. If you're about to buy something stupid just think will I get annoyed at having this in 2 years? Double quote. <laughs> Forgetting about calling and visiting your parents. Seriously. It may sound weird but when I was in my 20s I was so happy to be out of the house that I made the mistake of disconnecting with my mom and dad. I wish I would have done more. This. Two years ago, I was 24, took it for granted. Great relationship. With my parents just didn't acknowledge it to them or really spend time with them. I got a call that my dad had cancer and they would get it removed act. A week later they said it was worse than they thought. And less than 5 days later he was dead. What I would give for like 10 minutes to talk to him. Ask him what his favorite color was. Favorite movie. FCK. <laughs> Having a kid before being in a committed relationship being married and being financially prepared. <laughs> Maxing out credit cards. Kids witness their parents opening up credit cards at major retail stores. Not understanding what it means. Since most teens are inadequately prepared for handling finances fresh out of high school. 
Opening credit cards is just what mom and dad always did. Asterisk. Twenties mm -hmm. are a minefield everything you do determines a large chunk of your future. I'd say the most careful with drugs and relationships. In my 33 years those two things have been the most damaging and life dream threatening. Just my. Zero two. Mm -hmm. Staying in a mere relationship because they think that's as good as relationships get. Mm -hmm. Not wearing sunscreen. Seriously people wear sunscreen. Getting sunburned just once can triple your risk of melanoma later in life. I work with a lot of older hippies. Construction workers. Landscapers. And arborists and a lot of them have skin cancer and they all really wish they had worn sunscreen. Listen to Baz Luhrmann and wear sunscreen. If you're concerned about certain chemicals and sunscreen there's always alternatives. Also look into Korean sunscreens. They have amazing sunscreens that go on smooth just like lotion and don't leave you sticky or contain some of the harsh chemicals in American sunscreens. Make it a part of your daily routine and you'll appreciate it later in life. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice learning for earning. Not saying you have to go to college. But you need to learn a marketable skill in a career that has a future. Working as a server bartender or other similar job for easy money is not a viable long term move. I see many 40 year old servers who look 50 and hate life. Mm -hmm. Heavy drinking. You can waste away years of your life like this. Thinking you're just partying. A good friend of mine recently came to terms with his alcoholism. Getting blackout drunk every week for nearly a decade is not normal. Edit. It's pretty incredible hearing everyone's stories. I'm sorry I can't reply to all of you. But I promise I have will read every single one. As for my friend. He isn't exactly getting blackout drunk every week but he's not doing great. He has admitted his problems but so far hasn't done anything to slow his drinking. He recently moved across the country so there is little I can do. But these stories have definitely encouraged me to encourage him to seek help. Not having the dedication to save and keep saving. I currently just got out of college and started to get into the rhythm of working after having a dry spell on applying places since December. I'm lucky I had some money to back up those months of not really being employed. Now that I started to get some income in. I'm trying so hard to put away those paychecks and hold on to them for when I want to find a house or for retirement fund. But I'm still in the mindset of if I see something I need it. Not caring about credit credit score. Getting credit cards and maxing them out and not being able to keep up with the payments. I'm speaking from personal experience here. I was never taught to be financially responsible and it's been a hard lesson learned. I'm 35 now. My credit score is slowly creeping up. And I have a 3 year plan budget for home ownership. I'm literally a decade behind where I wanted to be. Racking up more school debt than they need to because they feel they need to stick it out at the expensive private college for whatever reason, friends, relationship, school reputation, etc. Dot. Not investing in yourself. Work out. Learn skills, professional and personal. Stop wasting time. This may sound really stupid and poetic. But a big mistake one could make is not making enough mistakes. Your 20s are supposed to be a time of trial and error. I hope you take this with common sense. This does not mean to make the mistake of doing black tar heroin or sticking your fingers up an unwilling girl's skirt. Just do not encase yourself in this insecure bubble that will lead to deep regret later in life. <laughs> Going to law school and then dropping out in their last semester. Good luck finding a non-law job with law school on your resume. Even Marizo if you didn't finish. When you inevitably default on your student loans because you couldn't find a job. Now you can't qualify for the military or any other government jobs. Oh. And you also can't take out new loans to finish up school. Except now you can't finish school either because you only have 7 years from when you begin to finish. Source. I'm royally f and would be worth more money if I jumped off a bridge tomorrow. Loans have ballooned up to $300. 000 and can't be discharged. I know a lot of people who f up bad by marrying in their early 20s. I was one of them. 
marry the first person that shows interest in them because they feel like it's their only chance to be with someone. And having kids immediately after. Because kids improve marriage. No. 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 Just. No. Kids are cool. But as long as both parents fully participate and a baby puts an enormous strain even on a healthy relationship. <laughs> Getting fat. I am 35 and fat and people are disgusted by me and hate me. No one sits next to me on the bus and when they have to their revulsion is palpable. I never thought I would let myself go but I did. I'm miserable with myself. Take care of yourself for someday. You'll be just like me. <laughs> for college students in engineering sciences. Thinking their grades don't matter if they aren't interested in grad school. Don't slack off and be a C student if you can do better. That just finally stopped screwing my husband. <laughs> just losing yourself. People are mentioning exercise. Hobbies. Relationships. But those are just symptoms. Losing yourself is a refking slow gradual process until you are in your mid-thirties and aren't doing shti with anything you liked for the past three decades. It's great to experiment on new things and some childish things will fade away. Dot. But if you just keep moving around like a flea looking for a dog. You are just going to feel like a parasite on the ass of life. So if you like reading fantasy books. F king do that shit. You like going boarding. Go get some. But F king don't just go to work. Come home. Listen to someone else's version of how things should be. And go to sleep. F king go out there. And get a F king life. <laughs>